What is up guys, it's Copes here and in today's video we have an Honor Guard account. I've never seen this skin in game, I've never actually used this skin. So we're going to check it out with each of the back blings this account owner has. And if you guys did not know, if you do not use code COBESMIND in the item shop, you will get banned. So we're going to check out the rest of this guy's account before we go over the Honor Guard skin with every back bling he owns. So let's check it out. He has the Ark, he has the Battle Hound, the Dark Vanguard, he has the Dead Fire, the Eon skin as well. So this guy has one exclusive skin, we'll see if he has any more. He has the Frostbite and then the Frozen set as well. He has the Love Ranger, the Power Cord, the Red Knight. He has the Prisoner of Course, Stage 3, pretty dope. I still don't have this one quite yet. He has the Blitz, the Blue Striker, the Bunny Brawler. He has the Galaxy as well, so two exclusive skins, we'll see if he has any more. He has the hollow head. I'm not going to go over the honor guard just quite yet. The mogul master Canadian version, definitely dope. Rap scallion. He has the skull trooper. And I know sometimes I don't go over and see if they have the OG skull trooper, but I mean, most people don't. They would tell me if they did. This guy doesn't have it. He has the arctic assassin, the dark bomber. He does have the prodigy as well. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming he's on PS4. He might have a PS4 or he just purchased one because I don't really understand how you can have the Eon and the Prodigy. Maybe he has both. Maybe he got the Eon online like I did. He has the Recon Specialist. He has the Skull Ranger, the Volley Girl, Assault Trooper, Bullseye, the Bunny Moon as well, Nagops, Tinsel Toes, Whiplash, and Yuletide Ranger. So this guy definitely has a pretty stacked locker, I would say. He has Galaxy, he has Eon, and also, guys, we gotta click on it the honor guard skin tell me in the comment section do you like this skin i definitely think it is pretty dope maybe it's because it's somewhat new this guy does not have the overtaker and he does not have the burnout so we can't really compare the skins in this locker but i guess i could post a picture right now of the different skins of the overtaker and the burnout which one do you guys like the most tell me in the comment section I would say this one definitely looks better because it is somewhat new. I mean, it definitely is new and it is rare at the same time. So I would still have to go with the Overtaker. I do think that color scheme looks the best. This guy second, Burnout third. So let's check this guy out with each back bling this man owns and see which ones are the best. So Frozen Iron Cage looks decent. Frozen Love Wings actually look really cool. Frozen Red Shield I think looks dope on him. Wolfpack definitely doesn't look bad. Galactic Disc, it looks alright. This back bling is my favorite, but I still think it looks pretty dope. Altitude definitely looks dope. Jesus, this guy's got some combos on him. We're just going to kind of click through and I'll stop and say if I like any of the combos, but this is more for you guys just in case you want to go out of your way to get this skin. Ice Mantle Blue definitely looks dope with this guy. I don't know if I'm going to go out of my... Oh, Off-World Rig looks cool too. I don't know if I'm gonna go out of my way to get this back or get this skin, this bundle. I'm honestly thinking no, just because I don't think I like this skin enough, but that doesn't really matter. I would rather just collect this skin regardless of if I like it or not. But mm, it's like 500 bucks for the phone. I don't really wanna have to spend 500 bucks on this guy. Um, Ice Cube doesn't really look all that good to me. Let's check out the Ghost Portal. Yeah, that's definitely a dope combo right there, especially the blue. This guy doesn't have too many back blings, but there definitely are some dope combos with the few he does have. Remus, I think, actually looks pretty dope. And typically, I don't like using different pets in this game, but I would honestly use this combo. I really do like it. Let's see. Let's check out the blue edition. What do you guys think? Eh, I don't think it looks as good as Remus. I, yeah, I probably wouldn't use it, guys. He has the swag bag as well. Not really feeling it. Let's see. Dark bag. Yeah. I mean, I honestly think this looks pretty good on everything, but not too great on this guy. He has the waveform as well. I really wanted to like this one on this guy. I don't know why. I thought it would be pretty funny, but um, I do want to try to merge an account one day. I really do, and I want it to be super stacked, but even if it is super stacked, it might not have this skin, but I do want to try to get every skin in this game one day. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but tell me what you guys think about the Honor Guard skin. Let's throw on, let's see, which was my favorite? 
Uh, I really like the Ice Mantle. I love the Frozen Love Wings on this guy as well. The Off-Road Rig actually doesn't look bad. I honestly think my favorite was probably the Ghost Portal or Remus. Those are my two favorites. Um, Ghost Portal, something that's definitely grown on me quite a bit. But yeah, that's definitely a dope combo. Moving on to his pickaxes, he has the Resonator, the Stellar Axe, and the Chill Axe, of course. Look at all these different free pickaxes, guys. I mean, these three just from events, that's pretty dope, honestly. He has the Reaper as well, the Studded Axe, the Tenderizer, and that seems to be about it for the ones he's purchased. Moving on to his gliders, it doesn't really look like he's purchased any. He has the Aurora, and he has the Discovery as well. But yeah, he hasn't purchased any gliders, which I honestly do stand behind. Let's throw this one on, guys. This is definitely dope to see, though. I love seeing this, man. Thank you so much for sending it in. If you guys have a Recon Expert account, make sure to send it to my email. It will be in the description. I'll show it on the screen right now. It's cobesmindbusiness at gmail.com. If you have a Recon Expert account, the Recon Expert is the last account I have to go over. We'll check out his stats real quick. So if you do have it, make sure to send it to me and then, you know, we don't have to worry about it ever again until another exclusive or rare skin comes out that we need to go over. We have one more account in today's video. This one is just somewhat stacked and I wanted to go over it. So tell me what you guys think about these accounts. Which one would you choose? This one definitely has some more skins, but the first one has more exclusive skins. What matters more to you guys? Do you even like the exclusive skins or are they just cool because they're exclusive or do you not even care about that? So this guy has a ton of different legendary skins. I think I favorited almost every one of the battle pass skins so we don't have to go over that. But he has the Battle Hound, the Chomp Senior, the Crack Shot, Criterion, which I rarely see, the Cuddle Team Leader, he has the Dark Vanguard, and the DJ Bop. Guys, which one do you like more, DJ Bop or the Cuddle Team Leader? I can definitely see the inspiration from DJ Bop to the Cuddle Team Leader. That means we basically have like five Cuddle Team Leaders in this game. We have five reskins of the Cuddle Team Leader, or four actually five including the cuddle team leader that is just stupid this i think it's sort of like a messed up furry design of a cuddle team leader i personally don't even like it not even close to as much as i like the cuddle team leader he has the fate as well and then the frozen set of course the glimmer the krampus so this guy definitely loves his legendary skins regardless of what they are he's purchasing them he does have two of the team leaders that are legendary and then the horrible furry reskinned version of another team leader which is definitely dope to see he has the ice queen as well and i really wanted to say this skin i felt like was going to be so popular but for some reason it's not the only explanation i have for it is maybe it's too similar to a ton of other skins in this game it's not unique enough for people to buy it doesn't stand out enough even though it seems like it should it seems like this skin would be something that stands out a lot but maybe it's just too similar to a bunch of other skins i don't know exactly why more people don't like this skin but what's your reasoning or do you like the ice queen i think overall it's a pretty decent skin valkyrie as well which i do think is somewhat similar to this definitely for sure it's just like the hair is covered up and then that's basically the ice queen the vertex wild card and the wukong he has two alpine ace the uk version and canadian version as well archetype beef boss he has the blitz i'm not going to talk about every skin unless it's something kind of weird or crazy he has the dante as well and for as many people who say they love this skin i rarely rarely see it in people's lockers so are you guys lying elmira so this guy definitely buys every skin in the game he does have another team leader does he have the spooky team leader? It doesn't look like he does, so he bought the three best ones. I honestly think all three are amazing, except for the spooky team leader, which is the fourth, which is just awful. He does have the Funk Ops, the Fyra. This is another skin that I really don't expect to see in too many people's lockers. I feel like this one and the Ice Queen could have potential to become somewhat rare. Um, he has the Galaxy as well, so he does have one exclusive so far. The Ginger Gunner, he has the Gumshoe, the Hollowhead, the Marshmallow, Maverick, Merry Marauder. He has the Mothman, the Night Knight. Jesus Christ, guys. This man, this man just buys everything in the store. 
This man empties out his whole bank account for this game, but I do love to see it because at least someone else does it alongside me. That's kind of how I feel. But we're just going to click through the rest of these. Nothing too crazy, I would say. Definitely a ton of skins, a very stacked account. I would probably go with this account over the other one, even though the other one has a ton of exclusives. This one does have a wider range and variety of skins, and I kind of like that more, personally. I would rather have a bunch of just crazy weird skins than a few really great ones that I love. Not saying that I love the account more than this one, but I'm just saying. Let's see, which skin should we throw on? Let's throw on the Galaxy. You know, why not? It's exclusive. People love it. I like how he sends in this account and he has the spirit cape on. Literally my least favorite back bling in this game. You know what, we're gonna do you a favor, we're gonna throw on the ominous orb for you, give you some class, you know, I'll, I'll help you out just a little bit. But let's go over his pickaxes, I'm not gonna talk about all these, this guy just has way too many to talk about. I mean, my god, this guy empties out his bank account. I really am curious, if you guys want to, if you send me your account, Tell me what age you are and what you do, how you get the money to spend on this game. I mean, maybe when I was younger, my parents would give me some money to spend on this game, but not nearly as much to buy all this stuff. This is just insane. You have to have a full-time career. You basically have to be a billionaire to buy all this stuff in Fortnite, for real. He does have some different weird choices for pickaxes. It seems like there's really no rhyme or reason. He just buys anything and everything. He likes a variety of stuff and I kind of like seeing that. This guy really doesn't have any rhyme or reason because sometimes people like the very weird or creative pickaxes sort of like the rainbow smash and you'll see a wide variety of that like they'll get the rainbow smash, the global axe, the pick squeak, you know a bunch of different sort of more creative, um, detailed designs. Or you'll see something like the inverted blade, the bat sickle, the forebearer, like the more simple pickaxe designs. But this guy definitely likes a wide variety and wide range of different stuff, which I do appreciate. I do like that as well. Let's go over his gliders. He does have one of my favorites for the sound of it. Magic wings, I put it at my number two spot. I think I put Spirit at my number three spot all time for gliders, but this one has the best sound in the game. Coral Cruiser, I definitely recommend you get this one. It's pretty cute as well. You got these little, I don't know what they are. Are they corals, I guess? I'm assuming. <laughs> they. That is disturbing. The more and more I look at that, the more and more scared I get. Diverge, another pretty good one, I would say. Gumdrop, always good if you like something super colorful. Paper Plane, the exact opposite. Safe Cracker. Someone said I was racist for saying this one was racially motivated as a joke. Um, it's a joke, like Safe Cracker. You get it? I I don't it's stupid. It's stupid. I don't understand how someone could get mad at that. Mellow Rider, actually a pretty dope glider, I would say. Very unique, something we really won't get ever again. He does have every single legendary glider. And you know, when I look at this, I really see someone throwing their money in a garbage disposal, turning it on, and seeing the money being ripped to shreds. That's really what I see from all these different gliders. Not saying they're not dope, but buying every single one, I would definitely stray away from that, guys. Personally, for me, I don't like buying gliders because you rarely see them throughout the game. I think it makes more sense to buy an emote that you can use at any time, a pickaxe that you can see anytime you're in a game, or a skin that you can see. Um, I really, I wouldn't buy a glider, guys. That's just my personal preference, but this guy definitely doesn't care. He just buys everything. He is emptying out his mother's credit card on this account. And I'm sorry, man. I know. I know you're probably not. I'm pretty sure you're a grown man who's buying all these. But if you're not, then just chill out. Let your mom have just a few bucks left over in her savings account, please. Jesus Christ. This guy's account is stacked. Yeah, I would definitely go with this guy's account over the first one. I kind of even forgot we went over like a first account. I've been going over this account, it seems like, for ages, just clicking on different random items. This guy has so many. I get I got lost in this account, guys. Ginger Sled, Glow Rider, he has the Raptor, the Solid Strider, the Triumphant. 
I would say this is definitely top three for Uncommon. I totally recommend you get this one, guys, for real. Let's see. Let's throw on... We'll throw on the Discovery. Just throw on all the Galaxy set. We'll throw on the Galactic Disc as well. Let's see. Where is that thing? Where's that thing hiding? You favored it? What? Oh, yeah. It's epic. I don't know why they made that one epic. Why is this not legendary? Why is the Galaxy not legendary? I guess for most exclusives, they don't make them legendary, except for like the Eon skin for some reason. But let's check out his career profile. So he's level 420. He definitely is not a PC player. But tell me what you guys think. Do you like this account more than the first one? Do you guys like the new Honor Guard skin? I'm definitely glad I got to showcase that one in today's video. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope for next video I can go over the Recon Expert, but you guys are going to have to wait and see. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye, guys.